Good morning everyone. It's Thursday morning, 28th of January. We're going to come together and read from Proverbs chapter 21 this morning. Let's hear God's word together. A king's heart is like a stream of water directed by the Lord. He guides it wherever he pleases. People may be right in their own eyes, but the Lord examines their heart. The Lord is more pleased when we do what is right and just than when we offer him sacrifices. Haughty eyes and a proud heart and evil actions are all sin. Good planning and hard work lead to prosperity, but hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. Wealth created by a lying tongue is a vanishing mist and a deadly trap. The, the, the violence of the wicked sweeps them away because they refuse to do what is just. The guilty walk a crooked path, the innocent travel a straight road. It's better to live in the corner of an attic than with a quarrelsome wife in a lovely home. Evil people desire evil. Their neighbours get no nurse mercy from them. If you punish a mocker, the simpleton becomes wise. If you instruct the wise, they will be all the wiser. The righteous one knows what is going on in the homes of the wicked. He will bring disaster on them. Those who shut their ears to their cries, the cries of the poor will be ignored in their own time of need. A secret gift calms anger, a bribe on the table pacifies fury. Justice is a joy to the godly, but it terrifies evildoers. A person who strays from common sense will end up in the company of the dead. Those who love pleasure become poor. Those who love wine and luxury will never be rich. The wicked are punished in place of the godly, the traitors in place of the honest. It's better to live alone in the desert than with a quarrelsome, complaining wife. The wise have health, wealth and luxury, and fools spend what they get. Whoever pursues righteousness and unfailing love will find life, righteousness and honour. The wise conquer the city of the strong and level the fort, fortress in which they trust. Watch your tongue and keep your mouth shut and you will stay out of trouble. Mockers are proud and haughty, they act with boundless arrogance. Despite their desires, the lazy will come to ruin, for their hands refuse to work. Some people are always greedy for more, but the godly love to give. The sacrifice of an evil person is detestable, especially when it's offered with the wrong motives. A false witness will be cut off, but a credible witness will be allowed to speak. The wicked bluff their way through, but the virtuous think before they act. No human wisdom or understanding or plan can stand against the Lord. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. Amen. Solomon gives us so many things and throws so much at us, as I've said before. Um, this morning, apology, ladies, um, wives, you come in for a couple of verses where it talks about living with a quarrelsome wife or an arguing wife. But if you link that with um, what it says in verse 23, watch your tongue, keep your mouth shut and stay out of trouble, there's that sense that we shouldn't go in looking for an, an argument, regardless of who we are, wife, husbands, friends. We should be there to, to listen and to understand. Um, and if what we're going to say we know is going to cause problems and don't say it you know we often tell um and we often teach people that to, to, to think before they speak and that's part of solomon's wisdom think about what you're going to say before you say it is what you're going to say just going to cause an argument or is it going to be helpful and constructive because we are meant to help people as as god's People, as followers of Christ, we should be helping, not causing more problems. It's a bit like uh, that verse that says, um, those who shut their, their ears to the cries of the poor will be ignored in their own time of need. That's a cry about helping, or a verse about helping others in need. And it's the same with our tongues. You know, our tongues can either be a help or a hindrance. They can bring comfort or they can bring um unrest so obviously you know it is about thinking about what we say 
before we say it. It is so important. But what I, the other thing I want to say about this morning, and the other thing which is so right, so true, so relevant, I suppose, is what it says in verse 3. The Lord is more pleased when we do what is right and just than whenever we offer him sacrifices. And then that's linked and then the verse 27. The sacrifice of an evil person is detestable, especially if it's offered with wrong motives. You know, as you go through in, in, in the New Testament as well, it talks about the sacrifices, talks about how God's not pleased with the sacrifices because the people are only offering them for what they think is, well, for their own motives. They're not actually looking to change their actions. They simply want to carry on living the lives that they have, offer the sacrifices so that, yeah, they're right with God, but then they can keep on going and doing their own thing. And that's not what the Christian life is about. The Christian life is about how whenever we allow God into our lives, whenever we start that journey of faith with him, then how we allow God to change our lives, how we allow God to shape us and to mould us into the people that he wants us to be. And that as a result of having God in our lives and the result of having faith in God, then our actions should change. So even way back in the time whenever Solomon wrote Proverbs, he could see that people were just bringing sacrifices for the sake of it because they thought that's what God wanted and then they could carry on and do their own thing. And verse 27 says, especially when it's offered with the wrong motives. So the only motive there is, oh, this will make me right, then I'll go off and do what I want. That's not what God wants. God wants us to be really changed for him, transformed for him, following the model of Jesus and his life here on earth. Uh, we talk about the words um, sanctification, justification and sanctification in Christian circles. Uh, um, we quite often, like I said before, we, we use these big words, but we don't explain them. And it's about how we let God into our lives or we start that journey of faith with God. And that's our, the start of our relationship with him. But then God wants to take us, to shape us, to mould us so that each and every day our actions become less about us and more about God. And that's not enslaving us. That's not controlling us it's so that we can really enjoy God and enjoy his fellowship his company um, enjoy his blessings and it's just that our actions speak to others so that, like this morning for example we've got a giving day for food bank for Simon community and for Belfast Central Mission you know that's a practical way of showing God's love I mean if somebody asks you why why are you doing this it's not to make you feel better it's because you want people to realize that God loves them and God cares for them and there's a difference between that yes you can give to charity to make yourself feel better but what does that actually achieve whereas actually giving and, and making sure the gift goes so that people realize it's done out of love well, that's changing and transforming that can start somebody on a journey of, of exploring well, who is this God and why has this person done this for me so in your actions today and in what you do, no matter what it is that you're doing, a lot of people, you have to go out and shop um, in, in these restricted days, well, it's, it's phone calls, well, it's like as you drive down the road. Think about all your actions and think about how those actions reflect on your motives uh, and think about what your motives are. Are your motives to bring God's love or are your motives to be self-serving? God wants us to have motives which are driven by his love driven by the desire to share his love. So today, let's do that. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you again for your word. Thank you for what it teaches us. Lord, help us not to be, um, get ourselves into arguments and quarrels today. Help us to have the wisdom when not to speak um, and rather show your love in that way. But Lord, in all of our actions today and always, May they, may they speak of you, may they show you, may they point people towards you and towards the love that you have for them. So Father, we thank you now and always. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks folks for watching. Um, if you're coming down this morning to donate to the Giving Day, um, please just be patient. We will be limiting numbers with it being wet outside. 
it is the welcome area is open so you can drop off your donations but we will control the numbers coming in and out um so please just be patient with us and come into the main car park but see you again tomorrow morning in the meantime take care god bless bye